Hello and welcome to my vlog. This is your friendly neighborhood old bat. I thought I'd go ahead and do an old fashioned get ready with me. And, uh, you know, since some of my content has been less than, uh, less than happy here lately. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. You know, just down to, down to bare bones. I'm not moisturizing today because I'm a little bit broken out. Um, get my basket of goodies here and I'm going to go ahead and start with my moisture shuffle as always um, it's available on Amazon and it's not expensive gives you great coverage and it lasts all day um, on a uh, side note uh, it's no better than any other makeup as far as uh, rubbing off on your clothing I'm going to do some research and see if I can find a, a makeup that doesn't rub off on clothing, and I will get back with you when I do, and I will I will uh, be testing. Uh, yeah, I found that out the hard way when I found one of my white blouses had, had my makeup on it. And I'm going to be te testing... Uh, the Bobbi Brown line of eyeshadows. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more uplifting stuff. Seeing how <laughs> I've been busting Rev and Shani's balls here lately. Um, now I'm still going to bust their balls. Make no mistake. Uh, ball busting is going to happen. But, uh, you know, I still do uplifting stuff at, you know. Because, you know, variety is the spice of life. I can be a major B with an itch. We all know this. It's not a secret. Uh, those two getting Getting a ninth hour reprieve yet again. Oh my goodness. It's like I said before. Those two must have been born under a lucky star. God takes care of his own and fools. And those two are most definitely fools. You know, because they were all set to get kicked out. And he did straight up lied to that reporter that he didn't have notice. Bitch, you done had notice. You knew your ass was going to get kicked out. Your ass was going to be out on the street anyway. Wonder what the charities would do with that information. Well, the help won't last long if they continue with the attitude that they have now. And I'm just saying. Okay. And I'm going to use the uh, chocolates by Javaez, like I always do, or like I do. I'm not going to use the Warrior palette. Um, now I'm wearing black today, so I'm going to use uh, darker colors, I like, like it really makes a difference. I, I just feel like going with the darker color today. And I'm going to use this color. This pearlescent bronze. Dark bronze. I'm going to put it on my eyelid. For kind of a pseudo... Kind of cat eye slash smoky eye slash doing it my own way type deal. Yeah, you know, like I said, y'all take y'all uh, stay tuned for the uh, Bobby Brown makeup because I have a feeling that's going to be interesting and. Um, 
sometime down the line, I'm going to do a face with nothing but uh, Dollar Tree makeup. So I think that will be an interesting one as well. other one and you notice I'm not going down to the tear duct I'm saving that for the highlight color that's just me that's what I do personally makeup is subjective you do whatever the hell you want with your makeup all I ask is that you don't look like a bathroom clown that's it pure and simple some people may not like the way I do it, you know, but I like muted shades for the most part. You know, a couple times I've tried other shades. I've had people tell me that it looked good. I didn't care for it, but that's just me and my tastes. Um, my husband liked the reds. but it's just not my taste. I don't, it's, it's a little out of my comfort zone. You know, it's just, that's just me. Um, just like contouring. I won't do contouring because I'm not real comfortable with it. I just now got into using highlighter. So yeah, that shows you how, how comfortable I am with contouring. Um, you know, that's just how I feel about it. I'm not good with it, so I'm not going to make myself look foolish. All right, and for my highlight color, I'm going to use this, uh, color Dream right here in the corner. That's a little bit showier color. And I'm going to blend it in. Coloring outside the lines, if you will, and going down to the tear duct. And kind of blending. See? And I'm going to do the same for the other eye. And the two features I like best on my face are my eyes and my lips. And now that I've lost weight, I can actually see my cheekbones again, which I like. <laughs> and any of you gals out, out there that are on a weight loss journey, I don't know if y'all have this problem, but... You know, it's getting, it's getting better though. I'm finding it difficult to gauge what I look like sometimes. It isn't as bad as it was because it was causing me a lot of problems. It's not as much now as it was. Um, it was getting so bad that I thought that I still looked 200 pounds, 250 pounds. That's how bad it was. I'll weigh 142. Yep. And uh, I know how pathetic that is. Um, I know a lot of people can't relate, but I don't know if any, any of you gals... Uh, suffer with those same feelings that are on a weight loss journey, but I see something totally different than what everybody else sees in the mirror or when they see when they look at me.
And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because it's going to sound like I'm fishing for a compliment. Which I'm not. And I'm only going to put mascara on my top lashes. Because of the... That article that I read. And I'm not going to seal with... Uh, powder like I normally do either because of um, making your complexion look a little duller. I'm going to find that article and uh, link it on my next Get Ready With Me if I can ever find it again. And the mascara I'm using until I can get my mascara that I, that I like in the mail from Amazon is Biggie Lash by LA Colors. It's not a bad brand. Um, certainly not what I'm used to. And I'm using this in the interim. And I'm putting on a couple of coats to make my eyes stand out a little more. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. Now I'm going to do my brows. I've stuck to using this eyebrow palette. I really like it. It is Profusion's Flawless Brows. Complete, show, uh, complete brow palette. I got this at Backstage, where I work, and uh, it works really well. Uh, first, I'm going to use the uh, brow wax. It helps to uh, keep my brows where they need to be and put them in place. I guess kind of like mustache wax does. On a mustache. As you can see on this brow, it likes to do what it wants to do. They stick up like devil horns. And no comments from the peanut gallery out there. Or from the uh, people who know who are getting to know me, I can be a bit devilish. I know. There, got them down. And uh, now I'm going to, I don't know why I put that back in there. Um, I'm going to put the brow powder on. I'm going to use the lighter shade because that seems to give me the best luck. This shade here. It even came with tweezers. And the tweezers work really well, which really surprised me. Because um, a lot of times the little tools they give you don't work very well. Try to follow your natural brow line as closely as possible. My hand's not the most steady or even. Eh, more or less. 
but you get the idea. Now, for my cheeks, I'm going to use the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I get a lot of use out of this. And I'm going to use Yara today. Give me a little bit of a sun-kissed finish. And don't overdo it on the rest of your face because you'll look crazy. I know a woman at work that tries to do it and she looks crazy. All right. And she is crazy. Now, I'm going to use the Cocoa Light Beauty Corp, Beauty Crop for my highlighter. And I'm going to use this one today. This one here in the corner. Just just a smattering. You know, to give you a little bit of a glow. But nothing can replace a youthful glow, can it, DC? <laughs> And the last step is lipstick. I'm going to wear red. We're going to use Star. This is from SweetFaceMinerals.com. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. Uh, it's real reasonable. You get three lipsticks for $20. And uh, they come in really beautiful shades, um, as you can see. And I'm going to use the wrong brush and paint my lips. I know I really should use a lip liner, but um, I'm no good with lip liner. About as good at lip liner as I am at top liner and power tools. Uh, now let me get my hair for the day. human hair wig. Bought it on Amazon for $119. And she is lovely and soft. And closely approximates what my hair would be like if I still had it. My mom tried to tell me that I should wear the short wigs more often because I should wear the short wigs because it's more age appropriate. And uh, I didn't have the heart to tell my mom that it's not 1975 anymore. You know, I love my mother to death, but she's got some antiquated views.
So I just wear a short wig around her. And wear the long ones on my time. I didn't agree with her. There we go. And then after a while, I'm going to put on some lip plumping lip gloss because I don't feel like fillers are necessary. And because I don't feel like getting, getting some fillers that are probably going to be uneven, lumpy, and crazy looking. And this is your finished product. If you have any questions, complaints, concerns, or want to tell me that my face is a nice match for your ass, leave it in the comments below. Uh, as far as my tiny community, I love each and every one of you. I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. Take care of each other. And do take care of yourselves. No one else will. And God only helps those who help themselves. Peace, love, and light. And may God be with you.